Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, May 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live. And welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. And let's wait for this ad to go by. I don't know if you guys get these ads too. I always get them when we're doing these lives. <laughs> All right, so now we're here. Hello. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are great. It's so funny that it's so light outside. It's 7 o'clock and it looks like it's, I don't know, 4 o'clock. Kind of looks like it might rain, though. It was sunny a little while ago, but now it's kind of getting dark. Like it might rain. Um, how is everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day. It was a, an awesome day for me today. I was off of work, so I had a nice relaxing day. I went to go see my mom and um, took her lunch, and then I went and got a pedicure, and then I stamped, and that was it. <laughs> so it was a nice relaxing day. Yesterday, I worked in the yard all day for like eight hours straight, so I was really sore yesterday, but... I'm all better, but my yard looks so good. I planted a ton of flowers, and um, so back to work tomorrow, back to the old grind. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're watching right now. We've got 14 thumbs up and 64 watching, so 50 people are behind the, um, let me see, behind the what? <laughs> you're just behind. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today is these three cards, they're pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is this piece of designer paper. So this is the new card kit. So I didn't see Starla on here. Is she on here yet? Uh, I don't see her. Hey, Valerie. Okay, so Starla is the one who does the um, tutorials for me. So if you do, uh, if you place an order and you get the card kit, she's the one that does the tutorial for me. So she does the pictures and all that stuff. So um, why I did different pieces of paper is because this paper pack only comes in six by six. So it's hard to get enough pieces out of one pack because you only get four of each sheet. So if you do these little two by five and a half pieces, you get three out of one sheet. So that means I could get four kits out of one pack. So like if 30 people placed an order in the next two weeks, I'd have to order a lot of um, packs of paper. So <laughs> in order to cut down on waste, <laughs> That's why I did three different pieces, so then I don't have to order quite as many packs of paper um, to do that. So they're pretty similar, um, just different patterns on there, but they're all the Lost Lagoon and Pool Party um, kind of pattern on there. So um, all I did was just change this piece right here, but everything else is exactly the same. So I'm going to make all three for you, and this is going to be your kit. So you'll get all the supplies to make it. All you have to do is stamp it and put it together. Um, and you'll just get all the pieces and the rhinestones and everything to uh, make it. And if you don't have this stamp set, you could use another stamp set. You don't have to have this one, but this one really is pretty with this paper. So um, I would encourage you to get it. And I'll show it to you now. So it's called Inked and Tiled. And let me show you in the catalog. It's on page. I should have marked it ahead of time. Um, I just was looking at it a minute ago and I didn't write down what page it was on. Here it is. And it is gorgeous. And it comes as a bundle with these two punches. Um, you don't really need the punches, but they do punch out the words and stuff. Um, and here's where they do like the words right here. So you can punch out the words like it makes an X there and you can punch out the words like of one side of the X. Um, or you can punch out the words in that shape too. And then you can make like a little pattern here with those little punches. So if you want the punches, you know, you can get them as a bundle. That's what they look like right there. I forgot to bring them with me. I didn't use the punches today, but um, it also comes as a suite. So you can get the stamp set, the punches and the ribbon and the paper all together, or you can just get, you know, whatever you want. So I'll be using the stamp set and the paper today. 
And this paper is gorgeous. Like every single piece that's in there is gorgeous. The ribbon is also gorgeous. Um, I, I just was like, it's so pretty. I love it. So, um, and I didn't tell you what page it was on, did I? <laughs> Let me look back up. <laughs> Hold on. It's on page 94, 95 in the catalog. Okay, let me show you the paper because the catalog does not do it justice. So, um, there's only like four different colors in here. So, um, these are the three that we're going to be using. This one, this one, and this one. So, those are the pieces that we're using. And then on the back of those, if you flip them over, they're just different patterns. So, if you really wanted to, you could use the, the back. And what I did was I spread them all out to kind of pick which ones I wanted to use for this um, card kit. And <clears throat> there was this one also, but I decided to stick with mostly the leafy ones. So those were the ones that were all like the Lost Lagoon and Pool Party patterns, I mean, colors. And then I kind of went through and there was, oh, this one also had it too. This one also had it, but that was more like geometric shape. So I didn't use that one either. Um, <clears throat> this one, that's one, another one that has the flowers. And I saw a video that Stampin' Up! showed that they made the flowers actually by taking actual flowers and just like smushing them in paint on the paper. So I thought that was interesting. And then this one's really pretty too. And then there's the back. And then here's this one. And then the back of, oh, that's another one that's pr pretty color. So there's a lot of them that are that Lost Lagoon and Pool Party combo. And then this one, there were a lot. I almost was, I was trying to decide between this color combination and this color combination. And I liked this one because it was more subtle and I wanted to use a different color besides these colors. So I really wanted to use a purpley color. So this is the Berry Burst. So that's why I decided to go with just this one. So this one is the leaves with all the other colors and that's the back. And then this one is the flowers and that's the back. And then this one, wait, we got too many of these. Okay. This one is the flowers and that's the back. And then this one is some um, leaves and that's the back of that. So gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So you can make tons and tons and tons of cards with that. So there you go. So that's the stamp set. It is rubber, so you gotta cut it out. Well, not really cut it out, but put it together. I always cut mine though. I always trim mine up. I do surgery on them because I just like to have mine trimmed really, really close. All right, so if Starla's on here yet, um, she could take a picture of that. Oh, I haven't said hello to everybody. Oh my goodness gracious, let me go back. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know if I can go all the way back. Let me see. Julie. Hey, Julie. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Sue. Hey, Marie. Hey, Josie. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Laura. Hey, Annie. Hey, Beth. Hey, Karen. Uh, let's see. Try not to say names twice. Hey, Therese. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Spice Girl. Are you feeling better? Spice Girl is not feeling good today. I hope you're feeling better. Um, hey, Becky. Hey, Debbie. Another Debbie. Another Debbie. Debbie is definitely the most popular name on here. Hey, Allie. Francis. Stella. Stella! Rick. Rickshaw Rentals. Let me see. Is that a um, girl or a guy? I thought I could watch these at the same time. I'm not sure. Hey, Paula. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Robin. All right, more Debras. We have a lot of people on here now, 122. Okay, so there's the cards. Oh, and this is the inside. So I did that flower on the inside. Love, love this flower. So the inside's the same on all of them. So I got some happy mail to show you. I got some really, really cute cards in the mail. So this one is from Michelle Moore. And this is absolutely adorable. So this one is one of those um, lattice, I think it's called a lattice card. And I made one of these with that Wisteria set a long time ago and I just like, this is gorgeous. 
I don't know how she did that. I don't know if those are pieces that come like that or if she made those. But I thought that was so cute. And then she sent me a nice little note. So thank you, Michelle. That is gorgeous. I love it. Love it. And then, oh, wait till you see this one. This one is using my favorite technique. This is from Sue Tyler. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And these colors are just, wow, popping hot. So this is that technique that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, where you do all the color on there, kind of like Joseph's coat technique almost. You put all the colors on, then you put it through the embossing folder upside down. Then you take it out and you put your darker color all over the top. And then you get this pop of color. It was really, really fun technique. So if you did not see that video, go back about two weeks um, and look for it. It's really, really pretty. This is one of the ones that I made. And I'm actually giving this card away tonight. This is one with the shells that I did. But her colors just really popped. So the darker, the darker you do your colors, the more it's just going to pop out. So thank you, Sue, for that beautiful card. And then I got this one from Miss Spice Girl herself. This one was beautiful. And she sent me a lovely note. So thank you, Spice Girl. She glued down this whole entire piece right here. I think it's just gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. She sent a very sweet note. And look how she did that fold, the flap. Love it. And then I got two cards in the mail from Paulette Coaster. Coost, I don't know how you say that. Coaster or Coaster. She sent me two cards, and one of them is wow, string art, amazing. I used to do this when I was a math teacher. Um, I was a high school math teacher. I think most of you guys know that I would do a string art project with the kids and, um, they would just, uh, I would give them, uh, you know, whatever they wanted to do, but they had to do some kind of string art project and I'd give, give them the directions, but they could make any kind of design they wanted to. And, um, they had to create a string art project with it. So I used to love doing those things, but they were so much fun. So she did this one with the butterfly and it's so pretty. So, um, she calls it paper embroidery. I just call it string art, but, um, that's a lot of work. A lot of work. Very, very time consuming. And she, this is all done with, um, it looks like that, uh, DNC floss, you know, like, uh, needlepoint. And then this one, I did a card almost just like that one. I love it. So thank you. Thank you, Paulette. And, all of you guys for sending me these gorgeous cards. I love them. And then I've got some cards to give away. So some of these are recycled from people that did not um, claim theirs. And then some of these are other ones. And then I've got an, um, some to give away at the end of the video. So I've got four now and four at the end of the video. So this one, the winner is Lisa Petrella. So Lisa, you win this one with that fun technique. Therese Marquez, I think I saw you on here. You win this one with that fun um, fold that we did. Oops, stuck a little bit. Tony, I think I saw you on here too. You win this one. And um, Nora Taylor, you win this one with the beach scene on there. So... If you win a card, make sure you send me your um, address at stampgirl2 at cox.net, and I will send you these in the mail. And then don't forget, well, this was the kit as of yesterday, so it's already passed. So if you placed an order through yesterday, you'll get this kit um, in the mail. So I'll be doing them this weekend probably. So um, if you placed your order, I will be sending them out this weekend. So look for those. And if you placed a $100 or more order, you'll get the gems to go with that. So that's for all the orders from the first of the month through yesterday. And then starting today through the end of the month, you'll get this card kit if your order is $50 or more. And use the host code. A lot of you guys have been forgetting that host code lately. So please make sure you must use the host code um, to get that. And I forgot to bring the gems with me. So you'll get a pack of gems too if your order is over $100. Okay, I think I'm done all my talking. 
So let me read some comments real quick. Oh my gosh, I gotta go back way back. Hold on, let me see. Love all your cards. Need some man cards. I don't have any men in my life, so I never make men cards. <laughs> I don't have any men. I need a man in my life. Yes, Karen says, Spice Girl sending hugs and love. Yeah, we're going to all send Spice Girl some hugs and love so she feels better. Love the cards. I'll be having surgery on Friday. Uh-oh. Robin's having surgery. No planting here. Afraid of frost. Oh my gosh. Patricia, where do you live? Still cold? Holy cow. Missed you Saturday. Oh, nice. All right. We have a lot of people going through stuff today. What's the name of the paper pack? It was um, inked. What is it? Inked botanicals, I think. I'm pretty sure. I already put it away. I think it's inked botanicals. I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, I got it written on here. Wait a minute. Uh, yep, inked botanicals. I uh, got the set yesterday. Yay. Oh, Arizona's 100 degrees. Holy cow. What is the stamp that looks like a stem used for? I know it's not a stem. <sighs> this one? Are you talking about this one? Um, I think this is just a background stamp that you can just stamp like in the background to make, you know, make it look like something. I don't know. Kind of like a wall or wood or something like that if you want to. Um, let's see. Love that paper. I think this is one of my favorite packs of paper. This and the Daisy one, probably my favorite ones. Are there special scissors? Yes, I have the old Stampin' Up! rubber scissors, but I will tell you a secret. Dollar Tree has some scissors almost exactly the same that are like rubber scissors, and they're really, really super sharp. They, they have, let me see if I, <coughs> this is what they look like. These are the Stampin' Up! ones. So they look just like this. This is Stampin' Up! ones, but these are the rubber scissors. But Dollar Tree has some that are just almost exactly the same. They're not as nice, but they cut almost exactly the same. They're super, super sharp. But this is what I cut my stamps with. That's, we used to sell them, but we don't sell them anymore. Um, oh, Bill's not doing good either. Oh my gosh. Well, let's say a prayer for everybody on here who's not doing well and having surgery and, oh my goodness gracious. Lots of people need prayers today. Okay, I think I got down to the end. Oh, Linda, you got your card, good. Okay, well, hopefully, Spice Girl, we can cheer you up tonight and get your mind off of that uh, feeling bad. All right, so I have been eating a lot of Tillamook lately because it's been on sale for $3.50 at our Food Lion here. I don't know if you guys have Food Lion like we do, but it's been on sale for a couple weeks now. So I've been <laughs> going through it like crazy. <laughs> and I don't know why I eat so much ice cream. It's so bad for me. And I really, you know, I, I'm kind of lactose intolerant because... It gives me a stomach ache, but I need to just take something and I really just need to stop eating it, I think. I don't know. <laughs> what is Tillamook? Oh my gosh, somebody just said, what is Tillamook? Oh, it's ice cream. So if you have never heard of it, look it up. It's T-I-L-L-A-M-O-O-K. Tillamook. It's a place in Oregon. It's an ice cream factory in Oregon. And uh, they make the best ice cream in the whole world. And I discovered it at our grocery store a couple years ago. And I have told everybody about it. My diet's not going well. <laughs> I've told everybody in the whole world about it. And um, now, thanks to me, everybody is gaining weight. So it's so funny because now I guess it's spreading across the country. And I get, I get messages from people every week who have discovered it, and it's so funny. 
because people are just uh, discovering it. Like somebody from Michigan texted me another day and somebody, um, I forget where, somebody else texted me a few days ago and they're like, we've got Tillamook now, yay! Okay, so let me put one with a darker color on it. All right, so here's what you need. Five and a half by eight and a half pool party. And we've got three of each because we're making three cards. Five and a quarter by four white. So that's for the inside. And then your three pieces of designer paper. They're all different. And it is called Inked Botanicals. I messed up there with that three. There shouldn't be that little line there. It was just, I messed up with the pen. Um, four and a quarter by two and three quarters, Lost Lagoon. And four by two and a half white. This is one of my favorite card setups that I do. Because if you do this cut with your paper, you can get um, eight of these out of a piece of paper. So you can get eight of these and eight of these to make this piece right here. And it makes a really um, easy card layout. So I use this one a lot for like swaps and things like that. And when I want to do like quick cards. So Mary says we can get Tillamook cheese, but I still haven't seen the ice cream. If you have Tillamook cheese, ask your grocery store if they can get the ice cream. Because if they're bringing the cheese in, they should be able to bring the, the um, ice cream in the same truck. So um, I'm not sure why. Because I discovered the cheese first. And then one day I turned around and the ice cream was like right in back of it on the, on the opposite wall. And I was like, I didn't even know they made ice cream, but I just, just happened to see it. So it kind of came at the same time, but it just popped up. And then once I found the ice cream, I was like, oh my, because I saw the cheese first. And I was like, man, this is some good cheese because it tastes just like homemade cheese. You know, it's not like that gross stuff that's already shredded at the store, you know, like craft. It's like real cheese, like if you grate it yourself at home. Yeah, Harris Teeter has it too, but Harris Teeter's like twice as expensive as Food Lion. Like Harris Teeter, I think the Tillamook is $8 regular price and it'll go on sale for like six. Food Lion has it on regular price for $6 and it'll go on sale for like three, three fifty or $4. <clears throat> yep. Turned my head at Big Y and it was right there. <gasps> You found it. Shanna found it. Mm. The sea. Oh, cookie dough was so good. Mm. No, I don't. I do have a son in law, but I don't have. Well, yeah, I have a son in law, but you know, that's like, I don't really have to give him anything except a birthday or something, you know, once a year, but that's it. Lisa Freeman said it was the best. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Kroger does have Tillamook now, too. That's right. That's right. Oh, Spice Girl says that she found Tillamook in Yuma. That's good. The white chocolate raspberry is so good. Oh, my gosh, it is good. All right, so hopefully you got a screenshot of this. So I'm going to take these off. How do we always get on the subject of food? <laughs> I'm a bad influence. <laughs> I'm so bad for you guys. <laughs> we always talk about food. You know, now I'm, I'm eating these. I, I've really been bad on my diet. I had I had really done well and I lost 10 pounds and then I've gained a couple pounds back because I haven't been doing very well. But if I do have ice cream, that's my meal. So I just eat it and don't eat anything else for that meal. So um, I give up regular food for ice cream. Okay, so I'm going to do the insides first. So that is with Pool Party. So we are just stamping this flower three times. Oh, they have, what? They have it in Walmart? I have never seen it in Walmart. Walmart always has the, cre the crummy ice cream. I've never seen it there. Um, I haven't seen it at Wegmans either. Wegmans usually has really expensive stuff. Uh, let's see. I don't think they have it in other countries either. I know, I know, yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't have it in other countries. All right, so we're just going to stamp this. Isn't that pretty? So, three times on here. And you know what? I need to put scrap paper under here. <clears throat> I 
All right, so there's one. And then, you know, I noticed there's a little notch here. Like if you wanted to make a little stem or something, you probably could. You could probably use the stem from the flower, from this flower. I bet if you just didn't ink up that top part right there, you could use this one as the flower instead. I should have tried that because this is a pretty little flower. Let me get that one out of the way. We should have timed this and done 10 cards. I bet this would be a good one to do 10 cards in 20 minutes because these are fast cards. All right, so there's the inside. So we're done with that. Now we're gonna do the front. So the front, we're gonna do the same thing on all of them. So I'm gonna start with the words. So they're gonna go right down in the bottom corner and hopefully I'll get these straight. I don't know why mine looks so crooked. Oh, that still came out crooked. I don't know why I've got it on here straight, but it just looks crooked. Okay. And that one came out a little crooked. All right, so there's my words. And then while I still have this ink pad, I'm gonna do the fronts. So I stamped off, this is Lost Lagoon. So this is a brand new pad and it is really juicy. So when I stamped this straight on the front, it was too dark, so I had to stamp it off. So I'm just gonna lightly, see how dark that is? So I'm gonna lightly stamp it off and then stamp it on there because it was just too dark when I did it straight on full strength. making this last night and uh well I started making it last night I was trying to think of what to make and I kept messing up and I did like this one and I was trying different colors I did it pool party and it didn't look good and then I did it full strength and it was just too dark and I kept flipping it around on different sides and then I ended up using like the whole piece and I was like okay I think I need a new piece all right so there's the fronts all right now we got to do the flowers so I was experimenting with different colors and I really liked the purple. I was, at first I did colors that were in the paper and I really didn't like the colors that were in the paper cause it was the like Calypso coral and the yellow. And I really wanted to use purple. So I switched it to the berry burst. I really wanted rich razzleberry, but we don't have that anymore. So I had to just, this was the closest thing. All right, so I wanna go right next to my words and not stamp over them. And I'm gonna do it once, then lift it up and then kind of tilt it just a little bit and bring it down and then do it again. And then do the same thing. So we're just gonna stamp it once and then just bring it a little bit down and there you go i was looking for ideas online and i really haven't seen hardly anybody do that anything with this card this um stamp set there was only like maybe four cards with it so i had to be really creative it's harder when nobody does anything with it and you gotta come up with something totally original. All right, so there we go. All right, now we just gotta put them together. See how easy that was? So this is like super easy peasy card. All right, so we'll put the inside together first. We really could have done 10 of these like in no time. This is like one of those stamp sets that there's no coloring, no nothing. Oh, this is, I think, empty. When I was working in the yard yesterday, it was really cloudy. And about halfway through working, I mowed the grass and then I put down weed and feed. And then I was, I had planted um, pansies in the fall. And so now it's starting to get warmer 
And the pansies, you know, they don't last once it starts getting hot. They start, uh, not, they don't like the heat. So I pulled them up and put down binkas. And, uh, so I was pulling them up and it really just kills me because they look so pretty right now and I hate to pull them up, but I know they're going to die. You know, as soon as it gets the least bit hot, they just start dying. So <clears throat> all of a sudden the sun came out. I was like, it was not supposed to be sunny at all yesterday. So it was perfect weather. It was like 75 and, and cloudy and breezy and it was just a beautiful day. And then it started getting kind of hot and, uh, I was sweating and, um, but I kept, you know, working and I was working up a sweat and I kept on planting. I came in the house, me and I had farmer tan going on. <laughs> and I was like, cause you know, I didn't put um, any sunscreen or anything on because it was so cloudy out. And, um, but then the sun came out and I came inside and, and I'm, I'm already pretty brown, you know, cause I mean, I, I've been out in the sun a lot, but. I, uh, my shoulders were kind of burnt from being out there so long. And my neighbor, I, you know, I, I think I told you about my neighbor. So the one side of me, they mow their grass. Well, they have somebody that comes and mows it about every, maybe every 10 days or so. And I mow my grass. I try to do it like every five or six days because I don't like mine to get very too long, you know. And then on the other side of me, they haven't mowed their grass probably in like three weeks. So it was really getting long. It was probably like almost a foot. And so I just came out and I was sitting there looking at it. So I just went over like about three or four feet into their yard, just started mowing it. <laughs> I almost mowed the whole entire front yard because it was just driving me crazy because I can't stand it. And, um, you know, because all their weeds are blowing into my yard. And it just drives me crazy because my yard looks so good. And their yard is just a bunch of weeds that are growing. So, luckily, there's the flower bed in between our two yards. But their weeds are kind of growing into my flower bed. So, anyway, I just kind of mowed a bunch of theirs. So, the, the husband came home from work and I was still out there planting flowers. So, he saw that I had mowed part of his yard. So he got the mower out and started mowing. <laughs> and I was still sitting there. I was like on the ground by the flower bed. He walked over and he's like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I said, good. <laughs> I wanted to say, did I guilt you into mowing the grass? <laughs> I don't know why they don't do it because they, they don't even have kids or anything. You know, and they're, they're both um, military. But they work, you know, just like regular you know like I don't know eight to four or something not like long hours or anything I'm thinking shoot I have three jobs and I'm by myself and I have I still get my yard mode I don't know I guess we all have different priorities but that's just one thing I just can't stand it if my yard is not looking good now my house is another thing <laughs> I'll go a week without vacuuming, <laughs> but not a week without mowing the grass. So if you come to my house, the inside is uh, sometimes a, a mess, but the front looks really good. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna glue that down. I did that just a teensy bit crooked. And I think it's just a sliver over the edge. Let me read some comments because I know you guys are talking. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. We got 91 thumbs up and 181 watching. So that's like half. Um, I can't believe Walmart has it. I have never seen it at Walmart. We don't have Publix here. I wish we did. They have them in Richmond, which is about an hour and a half from here. Oh, you just saw another demo. Use it. And she did 10 and 20. Looks like watercolor. Yeah, it kind of does. Received your beautiful card. Hey, Renata. Is it Renata? Gartig? Hello. Love your site, beautiful cards. Thank you. Hello from North Dakota. It's still cold there. 
Where are, oh, where, oh, where is Starla? I don't know, where is Starla? Cause she should be on here. She's just gonna have to watch the replay and then she's gonna say, why didn't you do everything straight? I should put everything straight on here cause she's gonna be like, why didn't you put stuff straight? So she could take a picture there. <laughs> put all these straight <laughs> and then put that straight here I'll put that straight too so she can take a picture she always has to take a screenshot of everything and, and I always forget to put it straight for a minute um oh Tony's going to get her skin change yeah I have to do that every year too because I've had skin cancer three times and I still go out I am I'm I have always had a swimming pool like my whole entire life. So I've always been a sun worshiper. Plus I grew up at the, a beach. So when I was growing up, I used to ride my bike to the beach every day, like in the summer, because we were just like right down the street from the beach. So I would ride my bike to the beach and, and be like on the beach all day long with a bottle of Johnson's baby oil. <laughs> that was, everybody had Johnson's baby oil. <laughs> And we would just slather ourselves with that Johnson's baby oil. So now I'm paying for it, but I tell you, you'd rather stay up than clean. That's exactly right. Me too. Yep. I was a sun worshiper and I always thought, oh, I'll never have anything because I've always been such a, um easy tanner. Like I've always been one of those people that, you know, 30 minutes in the sun and I'm tanning. Never, ever... You know, why well, only time I ever burn is if I go like to a tropical place and I don't really have like a good tan and, and I stay out all day. But usually, if I'm going to be in the sun a lot, I put sunscreen on. But if I'm just going to be out for like an hour, I don't. But I do try to always wear a hat because that's where I had the worst skin cancer was on my head because I have really, really thin hair. And I never thought about putting sunscreen on my head. But now I know. So if any of you guys have really thin hair, don't forget your scalp. Because that gets burnt. And that was the one thing I never thought about. And you know where, I think from working in the yard more than being like at the pool, is where I got that from. And that one, that one's kind of a sliver over too. I think all of these I cut like just a sliver off. Okay. All right. So then all of these are gonna go on with dimensionals. Let's get some dimensionals. I got a brand new pack right here. I used to have the best dermatologist. I, I go to the dermatologist every single year to get my skin checked because, you know, I've, I've had skin cancer. And um, I used to have this doctor. She was this older black lady and she was the best doctor ever. She was like 70 years old and she would make you strip down naked and she had a magnifying glass and she would go over every single inch of your body. It would be like a 30 minute appointment and she'd go over every inch of your body. And I mean, every inch of your body, every single inch of your body. Like, I'm not kidding. Like uh, every, every inch. <laughs> even where the sun doesn't shine <laughs> and she was so thorough and I loved her to death I went to her for like 10 years and then she retired and I was like Sigh. and I have never found another doctor like her and now I've, I've had like three different dermatologists and not one of them spends more than five or ten minutes looking at you and they all pretty much just go um uh, yeah yep yeah, you look good and I'm thinking, you barely even looked. So I basically look myself and just kind of check my skin all the time. And so I'm the one that found my the one on my head. And, you know, so I just keep a close eye 
And if you ever have one that just like itches or scabs over or anything like that, make sure you get it checked. Because those are the ones that probably have something going on. But I tell ya, there's nobody that was as good as that lady was. And none of them check like where the sun doesn't shine either, like she did. She would check all, uh, you know, you had to strip naked, all the way naked. All right, so then we're gonna put some rhinestones on. And the first time I went to her, I was like mortified because I'm like, what do you mean? I have to take my underwear off and my bra? I put, that's never been in the sun. <laughs> and she's like, doesn't matter. You can still get it. Uh-oh, I lost my take your pick tool. Where did it go? Uh-oh, I don't see it. Okay, we're gonna have to use something else. Okay, I can't find it. I think I threw it in my bucket last time. Oops, we're back to the old scissors. I don't know how I ever lived without that take your pick tool. And now I just ordered the new take your pick um, little things. I don't know what they're called. They're new toys that you can add on to your take your pick tool. So I should be getting them. Actually, let me see. I think they should be coming tomorrow. So I can show you guys those. So we have some new little additions that you can stick on your take your pick tool. I can't remember what they do, but I'll, I'll check and I'll show them to you. All right, I have one rhinestone left. Okay, and then of course, we have to put some shimmer spray on here. So let's do that. And if you missed the last video, I showed you how to make this. So if you missed how to make it, I, I've shown it in a lot of videos, but um, <laughs> I had it on my head and now I always wear a hat. Yeah, me too. You know what I did is the last day of high school, the, a lot of us did this. So we got out of high school the very last day of graduation. You know, we took our exams and we got out like noon and graduation was like, um, I think, I don't know, five or six o'clock maybe that night. So, you know, the beach was literally like a mile from the high school. So... That's what I was telling you guys about that tornado that just came the other day. So that's the high school that was right down the street from the uh, beach and um, right where that tornado was. So we all had our bathing suits in the car and we left school and went to the beach. We all coated ourselves in baby oil. We all got burnt to a crisp and then went to graduation and we were literally like this color. <laughs> For graduation pictures. <laughs> I tell you, I mean, I was literally burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I had it all, I put that oil all over my face and everything. But I thought, wow, I look awesome. <laughs> oh, those were the days when you just didn't know better. Now you know. Oh, okay, so there you go. So now we have all these beautiful cards that are super easy. That was like, what, 15 minutes maybe? So now we have a bunch of them. So there you go. So I think you guys can do that. So if you place an order for $50 or more using that host code, then you can have a card kit to make these too. Or if you are already a demonstrator or you already have a demonstrator, then you can just use the um, dimensions and everything to make them yourself. Um, let me see. Oh, and I have a joke for tonight, too. For the new additions to take your pick. Yes. Yes, the new... Oh, I can show you. Oops. Oh. Just dropped the catalog. Hold on, they're in the back. Yeah, they weren't available for a while because I tried to order them right away. Here it is. Yeah, not they were not available at first. 
set of three tips, the hobby blade. Okay, here it is. So it's like an exacto knife and then a um, rotary tip. So you can do like um, a dash line if you wanted to make something that tears and then a pick tip. I'm not sure what that is. Pick tip. Hmm. It kind of looks like a really pointy end, I'm thinking. Really sharp end. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what the difference is between that. Oh, maybe that's the one that we already have. The really sharp ended one. Well, I don't know. Because the one we have... Well, I can't find mine right this minute. I'm thinking it's in my other bucket. Um, <laughs> the Spice Girl said, I think my body would scare a doctor from doing an entire one. <laughs> oh, oh, Renata, we're telling a joke. Don't you want to hear it? So generous of you to share how to make these cards. Oh, thank you, Verna. Oh, and I got some cards to give away too, so don't go yet. All right, so are you ready for the joke? Hold on, let me pull it up, and then I'm going to give some cards away. All right, so this is a cute one. A nun gets up and starts walking down the cloisters. I'm not sure what a cloister is. I'm guessing the hallway. Another nun walks up to her and says, Who got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning? The nun carries on walking. And again, another nun says the same, same thing. This happens 15 times as she's walking down the cloisters. And I don't know what that is. Does anybody know what a cloister is? And she becomes very angry. She gets to Mother Superior's office, and just before Mother Superior could say anything, the nun shouts, Don't tell me I got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. Mother Superior says, Well, I wasn't going to say that, but I was going to ask you why you've got the bishop's slippers on. <laughs> so there you go. That was a quickie, a quickie joke. I have a very good looking male doctor. Oh, I was embarrassed the first time. Yeah, I had a male doctor for a little while and I switched. <laughs> I felt uncomfortable with the male doctor. All right, so I've got some cards to give away real quick. So let me get these out of the way real fast. So let me scroll through real fast and give these away. All right. I always got to remember who hasn't won one. Because I see your guy's name on here all the time, and it's hard for me to remember who hasn't won one. Let's see. Um, okay, I think Rita B Biard. I don't think you have won one, because I don't remember saying your name before. So you win a card. You can win this one right here. And then, let's see, a winner is, um, Stacy Bianchi, I guess that's how you say it, Stacy. You can win this one, and let's see, who else? Um, Carrie Hamilton, and one more, oops, this is tea time, I think I just neared that, and one more, this is one nobody claimed last time, got one more post-it, all right, let's see, who hasn't gotten one? How about Stella? I don't think Stella's won one because I don't remember seeing her name on here before. All right, Stella. All right, so there you go. So those are the winners for tonight, plus the other four from the beginning of the video. So we've got eight winners. If you missed the beginning, here are the other four. Nora Taylor, Tony, Therese Marquez, and Lisa Petrella. So those were the eight winners for tonight. Make sure you send me your address at stampgirl 2 atcoxnet and I'll stick them in the mail to you. 
So congratulations, everybody. Uh, oh, cloister is a covered walkway in the convent. Okay. There you go. All right. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you loved all these cards. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff for me. And thumbs up. We're um, still like 40 people behind in the thumbs up. So um, don't forget to do that. And I will be back on, let me see, Saturday for date night. So I'll see you then. Have a great week, everybody. And take care. And I hope, uh, Spice Girl, I hope you feel better. And everybody else who is not feeling well or has surgery or all that stuff, good luck and prayers for you guys. Bye-bye.